Okay, so this is example 10.7. Okay, so we've got object 1 moving along the x-axis. We've got object 2. And object 1, the initial velocity is 1.8 meters per second. Object 2, 0.2 meters per second at this 45 degree angle. They collide. We know, uh, so we know object 1's initial information. We know object 2's an initial information. And we know object 1's final velocity and direction. But we don't know anything about object 2. We don't know its velocity and its direction. The one thing we do know, uh, more information, is that object 2 is twice the inertia or the mass of object 1. Twice object 1. Okay. So, how are we going to solve this? So, how many unknowns do we have? We've got 1, 2. So, that means we need two equations. So, we can potentially use these two because we've got two unknowns. What are our two unknowns if we look at this? Our V2Y final and our V2X final are our unknowns. Um, and so, if we calculate our, our V2X final and our V2Y final, then we have both the x and the y component, which would then allow us to calculate the angle. Okay, it would, it would allow us to calculate the resultant velocity and the angle. Okay, so we know what v1, the initial um, information and final information is for v1, both uh, in the x and in the y. Um, and we know what the initial information for v2 is. Okay. So let us use these equations. So we can start off by calculating V2X uh, in the final. So we're trying to find this V2 final, but the X component. So we need the delta PX equation, delta PX equation which is to say um, the change in momentum of object 1 along the x plus the change in momentum of object 2 along the x is equal to 0. And that's what we get here. So m1 over m2 would be a half because m2 is twice the mass of m1. And what is v1x final? Well, we know it would be 0.8 cos 60. Okay? minus V1X initial. What is the X component of the initial velocity? It would be this entire thing because it is already moving along the X direction. And then we need v, V2X, um, V2X initial. So the X component of the initial V2 velocity. So that would be 0.2 times cos 45. And we get 0.84. So V2X final, this X component over there is 0.84 meters per second. But now we still need the vertical component, the vertical component. So we use now this equation, okay, equation 10.22. Again, M1 over M2 is a half. What is V1Y final? It is going to be this vertical component. So 0 0.8 sine 60. 0 0.8 sine 60. All right. Plus, and what is V1Y initial? V1Y initial. V1Y is zero because there was no zero, there was no vertical component. Okay, so that is zero. And then what is V2Y initial? It's going to be 0.2 sine 45 because we're looking for the vertical, the Y component. And here, this is interesting. It gets minus, minus 0.21 meters per second. So actually, 
the velocity, the final velocity of 2, is not pointing in that direction. It's pointing somewhere in this quadrant because it's got a positive x component and a negative y component. So it's po pointing somewhere down there. Now, if you want to calculate the, the speed, we know that we use this equation to calculate the speed. The square root of the sum of the squares of the components, okay? And we get 0.87. So the, the magnitude of this velocity, or the speed, is 0.87, and we use tan theta equal to the vertical component divided by the x component to give us that, and the theta is equal to tan to the minus 1 of that, so we have minus 14 degrees. So our final, V2 final, is actually pointing down there, it's got a magnitude of 0.87 and an angle of minus 14. All right. Cheers.